Hello friends, and welcome back for some more Legio X. So I was just in Koenigshain, that's where we left off in the last uh, episode, and there wasn't much for me to do. I did some purchasing, I did some, some uh, I looked around at the contracts and the hires and yada yada. There wasn't really much that I wanted to do there. So I thought, you know, let's head over to Steinkai and maybe Krakendorf. We'll try and find something to do uh, in this region. Now we can take on uh, contracts with noble houses. So we can head to Himmelswacht and maybe find something there. And I was kind of thinking heading toward the north, maybe looking over here. But my thought was to head toward the north and start picking on the uh, the house house Frankenmuth Frankenmuth excuse me uh, and it just so happened that where are they there's a trading caravan from Tiefenmark now Tiefenmark is way up here. A little far from home and they've made it almost to their destination they're coming down this road either to Koenigshain which I assume they're going there I don't think they would head to Kampenvater and this might be a good place to kind of test out our strength against some caravan hands and uh, or many hands and some guards I don't remember what guards do but I assume you know they're just a little bit harder than hands but I can't imagine that they're much harder than raiders. If they are even harder than raiders. So we'll take them on. But before we head in there. Oh, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't take them on. <laughs> We're still pretty beat up. Oh, we're still pretty beat up. I think what I'm going to do is let's, let's head down here. Let's camp. They're still going, they're still going. Boudica. Oh, she's, uh, Boudica's a Spartan. So we can tell her to eat or we can just let her continue. I don't, I feel like there's like a 50-50 or there's, there's chances of bad things happening here, but we can just say eat up. And she's probably going to be mad at us, but we'll just leave it to her. Yeah, okay, to each their own. Now, how are we? I mean, we've still seen some better days, but I really want to see this fight. And if it means that Valeria Sidious has to sit out of this I think I'm okay with it so I'm gonna go ahead and put him into reserves before we do that I want to take fluid weapon with him this is going to increase his initiative and decrease the fatigue cost I was also looking at tempo this would uh, every attack against a target who acts after you increases your initiative by 15 that should be pretty often because uh, his initiative is higher so I'm kind of stuck between these two but I think I want to increase the initiative first and then we'll go for something like tempo later so let's take fluid weapon I just want to see some of these things I, I think I've taken it with somebody else have I certainly not you I guess I haven't okay well that's good that's good I also I think it's her yeah Sajida, so I've got a question, and I I know I could probably go into the Discord and ask it, but I'll ask it here first. If somebody out there knows the answer, that's great. If somebody doesn't know, then I'll pop into the Discord and maybe ask. But balance, relentless, and perfect fit. What what am I missing here? <laughs> I feel like it's this it's basically doing very similar things. Reduces the penalty of initiative due to head and body armor by 30%. Okay. But initiative is reduced only by 50% of your accumulated fatigue instead of all of it. Initiative is reduced only by 50% of your accumulated fatigue instead of all of it. That does the same exact thing, except this one 
you know, works with the wait. If you wait, then it doesn't give you an initiative penalty in the next round. And this one goes towards reducing the initiative from your your head and uh, body armors. Okay, but they both give 50% of your uh, accumulated fatigue. So is that 100%? And then this one says, reduces the penalty of your initiative from your head and body armor by 30%. So is that 60% and 100%? And fatigue costs by skills by 15%. So now we have... I, I mean, I, I feel like these three working together should just negate everything going into initiative. Am I, am I, uh, or, or not everything, but maybe 40% can actually make it through? Am I, am I seeing this wrong? What's going on here? Because this is light and fast. This is medium armor. And then this one is from Legends. Uh, I believe this is also from Legends. This one's just the normal one, but, uh, or vanilla. But what am I, what am I missing? Why would I not take all of those? And would it actually give me initiative? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to take Fluid Weapon for Valerius Sidious. Let's check that out. It actually did give me some initiative. That's cool. Uh, if I drop this, it reduces. Well, it reduces because I'm also not holding onto a sword. Let's see here. Yeah, there we go. And what was the other thing? He lost his shield. I need to paint that real quick. Uh, right. Well, we'll do this. We'll go six into initiative, three into defense. Man, everything's four over. This is like maximum roll all over the place, except for that. So I feel like more initiative is pretty helpful. Going for that melee defense is going to be really good. And skill, melee skill, right? I'd really like to give some of this, so maybe if this is a two, then maybe I take some, maybe not initiative, but, uh, or sorry, fatigue, but maybe hit points. I'd really like to take some resolve too, but yeah, I mean, I, I really, I feel like this is important. So, oh, okay. Seven initiative and then minus 14% fatigue. So now that's nine fatigue. Okay, next, Sajida the Belly Dancer. Uh, for her, I really want to take one of these three. I was also kind of looking at Rush of Battle, because this also gives more initiative. And reduces the fatigue cost. So, I mean, I, it seems that PTR and Legends have done some crazy things with initiative and fatigue cost and things like that. And I I know this is Legends, and you're supposed to be making legendary brothers and sisters. But at what point are they broken? Right, so I, I'm thinking of going for balance now instead of relentless, because I, I feel like it's giving me the 50% anyway, no matter what, and if I wait, you know, that's where this is coming in. But balance is going to give me a bunch of fatigue because I'm close to 30. That's 17. That would be uh, 28. So that's almost 10 more initiative. Let's take balance. And that's going to help that too, right? And that wasn't that much. So, eight more initiative. Okay. And this went up by one. Well, that makes sense, yeah. One is 15% of eight. Right, so if I take perfect fit, yeah. I, I'm, I'm interested in this. I'm interested in learning more about these. That's really unfortunate. We'll go for the defense and the fatigue, or the, the uh, initiative. And I think in this case, we'll go with hit points. Okay. Okay. So unfortunately, Valerius Sidious is going to be sitting this out. Tiefen Mark.
Oh, I'm I'm stuck in there. Okay. Okay, time to get moving. This one is for Tief and Mark. Okay. Let's go. So there's 14 of them. Surely, yeah, they're going to be coming out of us. I'm wondering what the difference is here. That's a hand guard. Okay. Fluid weapon, strength and numbers. Oh, wow. There's one of the guards there. Nice helmet. You're the only one wearing a helmet, and that is a pretty crazy helmet, it looks like. Oh, two. Okay. You wait. Hey, you guys! Look at that hair. Look at that hair. Head shot all around. Uh, let's see. There's a shield there, there, and there. It looks like just the guards come in with shields, huh? Am I right? Looks like it. Uh, I'm going to run up and just switch. I'm not too... I'm not going to throw that, I think. Another headshot. Let's pull that out now. There's the donkey. So I'm now I'm very excited to be using. Where is it? Uh, fire. Oh, okay. It's just the aim shot. It's it's going to be fire when I use aim shot. Uh, right here because now they're going to be stuck, right? Oh, cool. Let's do that to kind of protect this. I'm fine with that. And hang back because I, I'm sure that somebody's going to go here and then they're going to jump in. And from there, you'll be able to do something pretty cool. Uh, stay right there. You send him up. How dare you. They're being very, very careful about this. I like it. They send up some of their weaker guys. And they're going to see what comes from it. I mean, I, it seems like something I might do. Gracchus. Yeah, here they here's it comes the bigger ones. And now I'm not I'm not too worried about it. Let's do this and then I'm gonna cheer on you. Uh Ertigen. I don't know why I did that. I guess I could have thought about moving. Let's wait there. I can wait. They might charge in now. And what are you guys? You're going to be going and going... I, I kind of don't want them to run, but I also don't really want to uh, to get mixed up up there. They're probably going to come back, right? Even if they don't, who cares, really? It's just two caravan hands. So... There. 
fire. Now I don't have to worry about him, and he's actually made him flee too. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, good luck with that. Uh, wait. Nice. Jeez. Oh, I was kind of worried about... I, I kind of want to take some of this gear, but we are taking... Or giving headshots. Yeah, go get him now, because we're going to lock him up. Uh, wait, because he's going to try and flee, and then he's going to burn. We can just kind of walk around him. Or, let's see, three turns. Let's do this again. Cheer. And I need to be careful about cheer. This is a very expensive uh, perk. To, I, if I need rally and cheer on, like with those geists, it was it was looking pretty rough, right? So I need to figure out a way to to give Turnus a lot more fatigue somehow. Uh, wait there. Ooh, what does he have? I should have taken his shield out. What did he have in his pockets? I think I'm going to send Arminius and Pantheon up there. Ertogen 246810. Wow, okay, I'll take it. Uh, this, and let's head over here. Oh, nice. I forgot that it was just you but over there. Cover ally, then, huh? All right. Uh, let's wait. Go for it. Another headshot. Maybe I should have stepped up there first. That was kind of my thought. push there we go that's a better sh better place for you hey get over here there we go no armor Thirty-five percent. There we go. <laughs> Work over there. Well done, guys. That was much easier than I thought it was going to be. Gracchus with a level up. Let's see what they had in store. Eh, I mean, we're getting some pretty great Rondel Helms. Look at that. Two of them. Fantastic find there and arming sword another one of these i don't think i need but some wood some quality wood okay oh yeah there's there's some good stuff in here definitely some good stuff okay i will i mean i will take it i'll take all of it so that surely pissed off teeth and mark that sure did let's continue to Stanke. Uh, yeah, let's continue to Stanke.
And while we're over here, I'm just... I'm Finstfeeler. Wow, they're... They're really far from home. I didn't realize that they could walk that far. Where is Finstfeeler? Right there. Right in the middle of the... Right in the middle of the screen. Interesting. Well... I mean, I, I kind of want to just let you guys go. I don't know how excited I am about fighting them, but yeah, they're not going to be too excited about going here. Let's camp for the night. House Moors. What are they doing? I think, I think Battle Brothers has a strange bug that if, if somebody is... Um, not, what's the word I'm looking for, like, hostile, then sometimes the, the nearby, uh, like, Stenkai militia might come out. They don't attack, but you can see here that the bulwark are just going to be sitting here because they feel like they need to protect the peasants. I'm not sure, I'm not sure if it's a bug or if it's working as intended, I just feel like it, it's weird, right? Let's let's keep uh, let's keep sitting here because what are they doing? If they want to go in, go ahead. Huh? Okay. Well, let's time to keep moving. All right, executions and terrified villagers. So there's a couple contracts here. We'll check those out. Temple. Someone had a broken nose. I can't remember who had the broken nose. Uh, I did have that. Oh, that was Fronto. Of course it was Fronto. Um, he is well tended now. Uh, there was a temple back back there. Okay. Gracchus Aurelius Cane. Or Canai. Uh, he is going to go into the front line eventually. I think he's going to go on the front line because he has fatigue and he has melee defense. I can't remember why I didn't bring him up front. It might be because I needed a another spear. Or maybe I didn't have enough fatigue yet. Those could be the things. We've got these two. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Let me let me go through all of this and uh, we'll we'll see what where everything goes. Okay. Well, I've made a bunch of changes here. Not many, I guess, but a bunch. We're bringing Gracchus Aurelius Kanai to the front line. I think the reason why I didn't bring him up was I didn't have a spear available. And I wanted some more fatigue. Uh, we're we're going to be okay. I'm going to give him Phalanx now for the level up. That's going to give him a bit more uh, defenses and what else? The is it five more melee defense and five more melee skill because they're holding shields. Is it five each or just five? Gain five per adjacent. So that'll be ten and ten uh, for that. He doesn't have a lot of fatigue, so we're going to go into fatigue, of course. Don't care too much about melee skill. So melee defense. And actually, that sounds pretty good. We might just stick with where the stars are for the most part. I think if I find the four, a couple fours here would be pretty ideal. Okay. Okay. But he does have brawny. Uh, so I gave him the heavier helmet. I also passed that uh, the helmet that we just picked up to Pantheon. Uh, we've got some things passed back to Boudica for her helmet. And I've kind of moved some of the, what is it, some of these layers around a little bit. Uh, for instance, Sajida now looks more the part of a southern belly dancer, whereas uh, Arminius has, you know, the, uh, what's it called, the Gambeson. So, just shifted some things around. I'm also getting rid of, I think I had this, like, uh, the light turban piece on top of this. He also had a farmer's hat on, but I'm going to get rid of that. We have Marcus Fronto with the farmer's hat. 
We've got the bear uh, pelt on Arminius. I think that's enough. Uh, if we find something that is unique, then I'll pass that on. But I know that they also give 10 more durability to the helmet, but I mean, come on. When you're at 150, 100, what's 10 more? <laughs> Maybe a lifesaver, but uh, breaking things down, fixing things up. I'm going to camp here a bit more, I think. I want to break some more stuff down. And then we're going to sell as much as we can here. Uh, maybe not here. I don't think the selling prices are too good. No, they are not. No, they are not. Uh, and purchasing is ridiculous. So, let's see what they've got for us. Yeah, go find something to not far to the east. What's this? Uh, ancestral burial grounds is this the one that they don't know about yeah so they don't know where it is yet they want us to take care of it huh <laughs> okay well let's let's go find it yeah see they're gonna chase me down until I'm clear away from them I think and then they're gonna realize we're not really that much of a threat. Yeah, there they go. It's it's a weird... I don't know if it's necessarily a bug. I just... It's probably right here, isn't it? No. What is... Was it that? I think it was that. Yeah, Ancestral Burial Grounds. Can we actually see what's in there? No, he can't. It's not far off the beaten path, so we'll head back and we'll take a... Ten undead. Some video gangers, some geists. Sure. Let's do it. <laughs> Why not? Why not? We probably could have some better gear here, but... The geists aren't going to do damage to our gear anyway. And then these Vietergangers are, are nothing. So we'll wait for them, of course. So there's undead in there, and judging by what just left, it'd probably be better to just take it on without the contract. The contract's going to put more enemies into it. Uh, which might not be a, a nasty thing, but it could, for instance, put a necromancer in there. Um, or it could change it altogether. I'm not going to use anything in this case. We're only going to use Rally. And I think what I'm going to do is as soon as... Like in this case, maybe we just move... I want to kind of clump up around Turnus. Let's, let's not, though. Let's wait right where we are. I think I should uh, take it. Yeah, they want to step up first and then they're going to scream. And then we'll run at them. I want to wait. Uh, hold. There we go. One down. Back up. I want to bring these guys in because they're the ones that are going to be weakest. Wait there. I want to... 
blow the horn before. Oh, I should be going for decapitate. Well, just end your turn. Oh, dude. I need it. So let's step up and then rally. There we go. Oh, I needed that. Oh, that's bad. Uh... Utica. She is holding it for us. Now, them running away is necessarily a bad thing, right? There we go. End your turn. Because they're not... They're not engaged in anything. It's it's completely fine. Let's run up here. There we go, Pantheon. Uh, Gracchus, send your turns. Not too bad. Wait. Has she been rolling? Well, I, I, I don't know. Uh, let's step up one. Toot the horn. There we go. That makes everybody pretty happy. Hey, good finish. Good, strong finish. I mean, it's nothing, right? It's nothing. <laughs> but I kind of want to take it on now, after something like that just left. But let's let's just run back. Let's get paid to take it out. It's gonna it's gonna be better that way. Where are we on? We need fourteen hundred to increase. And before we let's camp. There we go. Time to get moving. Yeah, so they want us to do this. Now there's uh, there's that too. And I'm looking for... An, ooh, look at that. Anatomist. I'm looking for a particular brother or sister now. Yes. Not here though. Not here. Um, sorry, I wanted to see... Where are we retinue? Professional. So we need about 170-ish to get a couple more spaces. Uh, still nothing in particular. Maybe what I need to do is start... I should start thinking about what I should um, grab. A scavenger's cart. Beggar, cripple, refugee, or slave. Interesting. So we put them to work. Really? That's pretty interesting. Huh. I think that'd be... I'd be pretty happy about something like that. What would be the... Training dummies? Probably. Retired soldier, sword master, cell sword, or gladiator. With a permanent injury? Really? That's difficult. That's really difficult. I don't know if I want to get it anymore. I do kind of like that tent, though. Or that uh, follower. Yeah, I mean, it makes it... I definitely like the, uh, the way that Legends makes this more believable, more uh, theme. But... It definitely makes it harder to get and I'm like I'm cool with it and it's also cheaper 
I think most of them are cheaper. Almost all of them are cheaper, but I think these ones are, are pretty on point with vanilla. But it you have to be very... Like Minstrel Tent. Uh, entice Perk. We can probably do that. Now, why would we want it? <laughs> That's the next question. Uh, with her, entice... What's entice? Yeah, I'm not seeing entice. Um, maybe I'm just not seeing it and it's right there. But but anyway, yeah, it's I, I like where they're going with it. But it does really make it more difficult to get the ones that, that you're looking for. Uh, you have to particularly hire a blacksmith to get the blacksmith. And I, like, believe me, I like it. But that means we have to find somebody... Inventor might be able to do something like that. What do they do? Healing. I mean, that, that sounds pretty cool too, right? They're definitely going to be healers. But here's like... I'll burn. We could use that. Oh, for healing too. A cripple? Gathering makes sense, but healing? Having a cripple do some uh, scavenger work kind of sounds pretty cool because they're really cheap anyway and we can just kind of put them in the back line and we don't really even need to use them at all they just become a follower but I don't want to that's the thing is in this particular case we have to increase our roster and or increase our uh, renown in order to increase our roster and I don't feel like purchasing somebody or hiring someone specifically to be a follower only at this time. I feel like if I could have 20, then all for it, I would just hire. But I need to be very picky at who is going to be join, uh, joining Legio X. And I also really like that too. So it's, I'm kind of on the fence about uh, this whole thing. Uh, let's see what this is. Ooh, Marauding Greenskins and Krakendorf. Where's Krakendorf? Right there. That sounds interesting. And for a two skull contract paying, tw oh, well, 1800. I think we could do that. I, I kind of want to fight this one. Let's do this one first. We'll see where we end up. I'm pretty sure everybody is in good condition now. And then when we come back, we can uh, sell off things because Terrified Villagers is probably going to be done too. So let's run over to Ancestral Burial Grounds, take care of this, and then uh, we'll think about the Greenskins. Noxers. During the day. 20 of them. How many? It looks like at least five of those. So five, uh, 10, 12, 15, 20. Okay. We're going to. We're going to wait, I think. I'm really afraid of throwing ammunition into this fight. You know? Because <laughs> I don't want to kill them back here. So we're just going to. We're just going to wait here, I think. I'm not going to move up. All of them, except for one, are going that way. I'm thinking bringing Eric in. I just don't know if I want to put Erdogan just right on the corner like that. Eric seems to be a better fit, right? Let's spread out a little bit. Uh... Yeah, hang out right there. Again, I might need Rally for this. 
Phalanx up. Good, good hold. Okay, wait. That was good. There's a lot of weeding. So that means my phalanx is going down, but it's it's gonna be okay. Let's wait there too. That's good, I think. I'm gonna move this way so I can get some space here. Oh! Because I think I, I want to be somewhere in the middle with Tarnus. Uh, wait. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this, but I think Eric, if anyone can handle Eric because of his uh, Battle Forged, and he's got the gear, but he doesn't... Oh, he's got 57, yeah. Let's keep him on the edge there. Wait. He's doing good. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm a little fearful with uh, Eric, but I, I think he's going to be okay. Um, go for it. That's good. That's good. And let's just raise that shield now. Again here too. Keep him off there. They're getting afraid, which is really good. It's hurting their chances of, of fighting. Right into the fire. I wish that just burned the corpse. How awesome would that be? Uh, okay. I'm gonna do something like this. Yeah, now there's a fire there. He could step up, but then he's gonna be in the fire. Maybe that was a poor choice. But now he's on fire. That was a really poor choice. Uh, I'm not too excited about that. Uh, Valerius, wait! Uh, wait for a moment. Eleven turns. I want to wait there. We're doing really good. Valerius. Let's wait. I might need to blow the horn. I think we're going to be fine. Wait. There we go. And now... Do something like that, I think. Yeah. And that. And then probably Valerius might need to move up. There we go. Maybe I stand right there. That looks like a good place for her.
I don't think I need it here, because the one that's going to go there is going into the fire. So maybe we... I think I need to move over here. Can I do this? No, I can't. Okay. That'll be your turn. There we go. Um, ooh, oh no. Okay, that's not too bad. I gave her a lot of gear, so I'm, I'm not that worried about Boudica. Nice! Eric, you're doing it. Oh, wow. Bleed, bleed, bleed. One couple more hits, probably. There we go. There we go. Uh, we... No! <laughs> oh, no! Alright, we need to take care of that quick. Uh, that's Boudica, right? Wait for a moment. Oof. Ooh, guys. We were we were doing good. We were doing good. Uh hold. Yep. Okay, don't you dare. They're still running. I'm happy about that. Good. Good. That's okay. That's okay. That's really good. Uh, except this one could go up there. No, it can't. You're okay. You're okay. Oh no! Sajita, get out of there! Uh, step up there now. Okay, good. Fire's over. Yeah, she's gonna be okay. Please tell me she's gonna be okay. Oh. She's not looking okay anymore. Trying to help out Valerius is he's still wavering. Thirty-seven, fifty-seven. So I feel like I need to kind of get Arminius over here to switch to switch them out. Um, can we go? How far can we go? Gracchus, go around here. Wait, and then yeah, start running that way. leave that space Valerius let's wait I want to see she's doing good she's doing good wait down here guys oh no okay <laughs> whoops I just blocked her in there uh, wait Wait down here. I think one... There's a couple that are down this way. Yeah. Okay. There you go. There you go. Oh, let's do that. We got this. That was pretty fun. 
honestly. Didn't really, I mean, it got a little hectic down here, but I'm, I'm kind of impressed. We're doing pretty good here. Keep waiting. And I'm going to do this. Cheer you on so you can attack a couple times, I think. Keep waiting. Miss, miss, huh? I want to see if Boudica can actually do that twice. She can hit twice. And she did it. And they're gone. Well done. Well done, guys. I'm impressed. Arminius and Gracchus. Did Gracchus level up again? Some... Some, uh... Growth pearls. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We can make... Some necklaces, I think. Pretty impressed with that outcome. Fantastic. Let's um let's camp for the night and then I'm going to sell some things off. I wanna actually am I fixing things? And breaking everything down. As you can see here, I just decided to fix everything that would sell for something and break everything else down um i'm not going to fix the the armor to sell though i'll just sell those things off and i've got a couple backups right here or something to go on the the, the next couple of hires oh no more tools okay fair enough uh marketplace 250 and 19 Nice, they love us. So let's sell off the things that we... Definitely these rings. And the growth pearls. How about... I think the brains are pretty easy money. And then, do they have... They don't. But maybe I should have done this when I was in here. Leave. Let's not pay for it. Let's go to the camp. We'll head to the craft and craft. Yeah, we want to make a couple of those. Now, how long does that take? Craft forever. I like that. Uh, is there anybody here that's good at crafting? Valeria Sidious, of course. So we'll do that. 34 hours. Well, I guess we could afford making or having them make it for us but we'll just we'll just make it ourselves i like that so we'll leave when they're done they're done and we'll we'll uh go from there whoops and then everything else will will continue selling here uh, i'm not gonna sell let's see i think it was i think it was two and two right so those can go there we go well, I've got these bandages that I've totally forgot about. I'm going to keep the rest. This is obviously just going to go on to whoever we hire next time. Um, although I do have, I have something, someone in particular, if I can only hire one. Uh, if, if it ends up going on to, let's see, if it ends up getting too close to our, oh, Flaccus, I miss you. Uh, if it if it ends up getting close to the oh man retinue professional uh, fourteen hundred and we're able to hire new brothers more new brothers instead of just the one then I'll start hiring the uh, just more but there's one in particular I'm looking for and you're all going to be very excited to see this brother join us. Uh, but I think this is a good place for me to quit for the night. Uh, it's getting pretty late, and it's been a heck of a few days with the with the new one. So, <sighs> yeah. So what I'll do, whoops, what I'll do next time is I'm going to take this contract. We're going to go after it. I might 
have just signed our death. But, uh, oh, here we go. We have uh, strength in numbers. I, I feel like whenever we have the opportunity, we'll take strength in numbers, particularly for our phalanx. I think that's just going to be such a good uh, perk for our front line, our, our phalanx. Mm, and I totally forgot. This was one of the things that I changed around. Of course, you probably saw we have our three phalanx, our three spear heavy phalanx. We have Valerius Sidious is our light phalanx in between. And then we have Marcus Fronto in uh, as our skirmisher. I might still take phalanx for him because it's just it's going to give him 10 more melee defense. He's always going to be carrying a shield on that front line. No, he's not going to carry a spear, but a perk that's going to give him 10 melee defense? I don't see why not, right? Yeah, I don't see why not. So, yeah, we'll, we'll think about that when that gets to that point, but uh, let's see here. Three, four, and... Oh man, I'd really like to give him some resolve, but fatigue. Why does he have... Oh, five more resolve because of that. What does this do again? Two melee skill. Range skill, defense for each adjacent ally. So right in the middle, that's going to be one, two, three, four. Whoops. So that's eight melee skill and ranged uh, and uh, melee defense and ranged defense. And then one resolve for each ally. And we're at ten of that number so 10 more resolve on top of 40 so yeah strength in numbers is going to be fantastic particularly for i mean basically for anybody that has it i don't see why not but particularly the ones on the front line carrying a shield in the phalanx uh, basically pantheon you're the only one that does not have that yet so we'll see about does anybody else have it Arminius also has it. I don't know if I'm going to give that to him, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh, you actually you actually leveled up too. All right, I figured it out. Bags and belts for Arminius. Uh, now hear me out. I'm thinking of... I just did it. I just sold off those. Ugh. I'm thinking of giving him some more javelins and because he has rotation I'd be able to kind of rotate with Sajida the belly dancer and continue to throw over from her it kind of you know like launches Sajida into the front line then Sajida can swing swing with her two-handed scimitar or whatever we end up giving her I kind of want to switch that I kind of want to use a hammer uh, it would only be able to swing once, but at the same time, man, 40 to 70, 65 to 85. Well, I guess this is a higher tier weapon anyway, but my thought with the, with this is you can only swing it once and I kind of want that this, I can swing it twice, but honestly, this is kind of the better weapon, isn't it? But I'm, I'm thinking about Shatter in this case. Shatter? Shatter. Yeah, she can swing and hit three, up to three enemies. And if she's on the, the corner like this, let's keep this for now. And maybe if we bit, get a better two-handed uh, hammer, then we'll switch it up. Does she even have that? Uh, she doesn't. A flail could be pretty fun. A two-handed flail out there. That would be that would be cool. That sounds interesting, actually. But anyway, my thought with this is, I'm gonna grab bags and belts. Uh, this also gives Arminius some of his uh, fatigue back. But I would like to be able to. Uh, man, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed that I just sold those off. Three, four, and I think I want to give him more fatigue. I would like this, but yeah, 
Uh, he also does have this strength in numbers, and I was I was considering it, but because there's only two, if there was another, like if there was someone out here, and maybe uh, these the back line was also full, so that he had four around him, I'll consider it then. But for now, I'm not too excited about strength in numbers for him. But um, yeah, man, I yeah I just 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 sold them. Where are they? 260? I mean, I've got the money, right? But if I'm going to be buying them, then I want to be buying them full. Another throwing spear could be cool for Gracchus. And we, I mean, we should probably look to, you know, okay, ouch. That really sucks. I'm being stupid here. But I'm going to get rid of that. I don't think I'm going to be using it, and I'll recuperate a little bit more money <laughs> from that from that mistake, but let's give him a little bit more, and my idea, I, I think I like this idea of uh, launching Sajida up, continue to throw back there, and then he can later move over here, maybe do a little bit of uh, flanking with his uh, jabs once this side is clear or if this side clears up faster then he can run up and start flanking from this way and I, I kind of want to get whites of their eyes for him and also uh, throwing mastery and I was I'm also considering duelist because I could do something like this and if he ends up going onto the front line, then I just give him the shield. You know, uh, I don't like the idea of doing this from the beginning, though, because he doesn't have a lot of range defense, and they would, they would very quickly pick on him. Uh, the the rangers on the other side. So I don't know. I'm kind of going back and forth here, but at any rate, that's what I'm gonna go with. I'm probably gonna take whites of their eyes for him so that I can just rotate back um, even if she's over here I could rotate out this way and then throw that way if, if it's uh, open something like that but I want our minis to really be focusing on throwing a little bit more and we can obviously pick up the falchion if, if necessary fluid weapon could be interesting uh, tempo. The thing is, is most of these sword attacks or sword perks go toward initiative. So maybe Arminius doesn't carry a sword forever. Maybe we just say screw the sword. Maybe give him. Maybe give him something else. Hmm. I forgot. There's no flails in the legion, but I mean, it, this isn't this isn't uh, ancient Rome. Right, so we can use some more, whoops, we can use more modern weapons, I guess. Shouldn't force myself to just use ancient weapons, right? One more thing before we end. Let's head back to the camp. And for the paint. And let's not forget about our new shields. All right. So, now, that'll do it for this episode. Hope you're enjoying it. I am certainly enjoying this. I think this has been pretty fun up until now, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing where this goes in the future. I think I'm going to be pumping out another episode of this immediately for tomorrow, because this, weekend was a, or this week was a little weird and um, didn't get a lot of sleep. But I think... I'll be better for tomorrow night to uh, to pump out another episode immediately. So, with that, I hope you're enjoying it. You can let me know by leaving a like or a comment. If you're feeling ultra generous, you can follow the link in the description to buy me a coffee. With that, thanks for stopping by and hope to see you next time.